It's time now to start talking about combinations of transformations, yeah? And that is um, not that difficult if you understand uh, all the different types of transformations, yeah? So I've shown uh, you in the previous videos that a transformation changes the position or the shape, yeah? or the position and the shape sometimes, of a particular object, yeah? for instance, this uh, triangle. Yeah, and I've shown you different types of transformations. Yeah, we had a reflection, we had a rotation, we had a translation, and then we had an enlargement. Okay, now combinations of transformations is exactly what it says uh, a combination of those four types of transformations. Yeah, so for instance, they tell me, well, you have triangle ABC. Yeah, and you have to reflect it in the mirror line and then translate it with the or under the vector three minus one, yeah? So that's a combination of two transformations, a reflection and then a translation. So first I will reflect it. I'm gonna do this relatively quickly. So that's gonna be point C and point B is one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, and a reflection only changes the, um, the position eh, of the shape, doesn't it? There we go. Of the object. There we go. And that, so that is my first transformation, but I'm not finished yet. Then I have to translate it under the vector three minus one. So that means that point is going to be one, two, three, minus one over there. That point, one, two, three, minus one over there. And that point will be one, two, three, minus one over there. Now I've done a reflection and a translation, but perhaps it will say in your question a translation and then a rotation, or perhaps you have to enlarge it first and then reflect it into some sort of mirror line. All sorts of possibilities of combinations of transformations, yeah? But for this particular example, this will be my answer after a reflection and then a translation. Now, usually these types of questions are asked that they give you the initial figure and then the figure after a combination of transformations and then you have to say, well, first it was, in this case, a reflection and then a particular translation, yeah? And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So I'll see you there.